um, a terminology which doesn't have really well thought through meaning. You see, to say de-risking, decoupling, these are, um, you know, terms, this is, these are words which are not uh, necessarily very well thought through. Um, you know, coupling and decoupling is a process and it has been happening for many years. I mean, there was, uh, you know, so certain areas in which coupling was taking place and decoupling also. So this is not entirely new. And of course, we have to define our future relationship uh, for the mutual benefit, for the benefit of China, for the benefit of European Union. And we have to be um, uh, worried about the use of terminology which actually stimulates a kind of an irrational fear, de-risking. Well, I'm not sure that China is presenting a big risk for European Union. Uh, I remember not long time ago, uh, the whole work and cooperation in the high-tech um, uh, field was seen as mutually beneficial. Now, all of a sudden, uh, people start talking about risks. Uh, what has happened? Uh, I believe that this is, uh, to a large extent, an irrational use of terminology, which may have harmful effects. So I would caution against the use of such words as de-risking and similar, because I do believe that we need really a very good definition of mutual interest. And again, I believe that European Union should look for an, a role which would be a role of its own, not somebody else's defined role uh, for the European Union. And of course, the key guiding principles, in my, my opinion, should be mutual interest. There are interests on the side of China, on the side of European Union, which can be seen as mutual. We have to find them, we have to define them, and we have to work within them. And I believe that we need really very serious and long-term thinking. Serious and long-term thinking both in China and in the European Union. It is um, very easy to decide under the pressure of events uh, like the war in Ukraine and sometimes it seems that the automaticity of decision making, in particular in the European Union, uh, happens at the expense of more profound thinking and profound understanding of a long-term need for good relations and cooperation between European Union and China. So I'm in fact quite worried that the current uh, flurry of activities, events that follow very quickly, will overshadow the necessary reflection. We would really need very serious reflection on how we manage, how we organize the relations between European Union and China for the long-term future.